Alright guys, here we go. I'm actually gonna, for the first time, go and look at... I think I found it, I just did a quick search, but I'm gonna go look at, apparently, what the, uh... <laughs> I've heard rumors that the price is for it. <laughs> Back in Euroscape was like 200 plus dollars, so, uh... I'm gonna click the link for the first time ever and, uh... See what I'm getting myself into if I want to consider backing this. Good old US, US of A. Yeah, the, la the landable free. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So about that 200 bucks. <laughs> 250 bucks. That seems steep. I wonder. That's in 36 days. Yeah, dude. That is steep. Open it in the Hasbro. Alright, I don't care about the Pulse app. So here escape. Alright, Vanguard Edition. Agree to terms. Alright, it will move into production when it reaches when it reaches the minimum backing goal. We will stop taking backers right. November 15th. Is the 8,000 the minimum backing goal? That's kind of scary that they're not even halfway from like the release or you know like the, the initial trailer that they put out or the initial presentation my bad they're only at, yeah they're not they're not even another no, that's just over that's just over a quarter of the way that's kind of scary because I feel like after like the first week you'd think they'd be over half if there was enough people excited for this I guess when I see this I'm going to hope that there's a lot more people like me who can't really commit to 250 in this moment and like after after like 30 days, I might be able to review it again because like I'm I'm probably gonna try and like legitimately save money for this and then be like, all right, like the week before it ends, I'll probably be like, you know, can I can I really afford this and I'll, I'll bite at that time. Standard shipping, oh, oh no, okay, shipping included, nice. You're on Valhalla. All right, I know most of the story of Hero Escape. Valkyrie fighting, Troll Wellsprings. So yeah, they can summon all these dudes from a space and time to kill each other. It, 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 that's the thing with Hero Escape, though, is it's like a looping story. It's just like, these dudes want to drink from the Wellspring to summon more dudes to take over more Wellsprings to summon more dudes, and it's just like over and over, it seems like. But no one's really playing Hero Escape for the story, let's face it. We're just slaying each other. The game features 71 finely detailed miniatures. How many... Rise of Valkyrie came with what? 40? Maybe? Give or take? I feel like Arena of the Planeswalkers even came with... What did Arena of the Planeswalkers come with? You had the five painted figures, one for each color, and then you had two squads for each color. So six figures per color by five is 30. Yeah, so you know what? I mean, Arena of the Planeswalkers came with 35, with some of them actually painted as well. Yeah, for 250. I mean, all right, well, look, let's look what else. But just looking at, like, figure count alone... 250 for 70, 70 miniatures seems a bit steep. 50 army cards, that, that's not too shabby. So it seems like a lot of this, a lot of these are going to be one-to-one, -one, aren't they? 50 army cards for 71 figures seems to me like there's, it's going to be kind of light on squads. This is nice right here. Expendable, oh, expandable, expendable. Use it for, use it for, uh... For firewood if you need to, it's expendable. 74 base pieces, which must be, I'm assuming the grass and, oh, it zooms in. Cool. The grass, oh, we got tons of pictures here. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, very pretty. There's the cards. This castle pieces do look cool. Enough of that. Where, where was I? Got distracted by pretty things. Here. So I'm assuming they have that 71, finally, oh, not 71. What was it, 74 base pieces? I assume that means, like, your sand, your water, your uh, stone, rock? I can't remember the name. But basically, like, your generic terrain, which Arena of the Planeswalkers was completely lacking, admittedly. So, and I, I wonder if that's where a lot of that price comes from, is because you're actually getting the cool freaking terrain that makes Heroescape and would have made Arena of the Planeswalkers awesome. 68 wall terrain pieces? Yeah, 68, man, that's a... If you get all that's here, plus this on the side, on the bottom right here, this is nuts, dude. That's a lot. You're basically getting, like, a whole Fortress of the Ar Ar Arch Kyrie, Arch Kyrie. Only you can't really have a castle. I'm guessing they must have done it this way to try and balance it, because castles were busted. So, like, it looks like what we're seeing here is, like, figures aren't going to be able to stand on the castle walls. Rather, they can defend, defend it, maybe. I'm not sure how that's going to work to 
it's like for like a defend your castle scenario but it's very cool nonetheless like you're gonna have yeah it's basically like ruins and ruins and stuff all over the map nine jungle terrains which is cool yeah, are there nine in, in this picture I see one two three four five six seven eight uh, there's probably nine and I just missed one so right you probably get the trees and you get a few bushes which is okay I mean jungles expensive I don't really need I mean here's the problem here's so here's the problem now I'm just thinking about this now having to drop 250 bucks when I already own multiples of all the AOTP sets well not multiples multiples of the first one and then one of each other copy I own multiples of like every of like the bigger HeroScape sets, like the Marvel, the first Rise of Valkyrie, the Form of the Morrow. I think I even have two of the jungle sets, so I, I think I have two or three castle sets. So it's unfortunate, but most of this, uh, most of the expandable like terrain, it's like I don't really want to spend 250 bucks for more terrain. They're, the castle is probably the only thing I'm remotely interested in, and even at that, it's like this isn't entirely different from what HeroScape already had to begin with. So that's a tough sell for me. I, I don't need jungle. I don't need more grass, more sand, more water. I don't need any of that. I, I have sparkly water even. I think I have one or two sets of sparkly water. So I, I'm going to guess a good chunk of that price comes from the terrain, which is awesome for people who need it, but I have so much of that. I, I would never use all of it, you know, all of what I own, even if I built I would probably have to build like five or six maps before I start running out of terrain. So yeah, anyway, the terrain for me is just kind of like, eh, I don't really need it or want it. Five, origi five original factions designed for the game. Each of the unique skills and strategy, right? And I'm still confused about the whole factions thing, because it's like... So we have factions that are just like random mixes of the generals who I thought the generals were all, you know, the, the, Val the Valkyrie generals were all fighting each other, but I guess now some of them are friends, like random units of random generals are randomly friends, so it sounds cool enough, I suppose. Customizable armies in which each figure is given a point value. Choose which units to include in your army to suit your playstyle, right? That's, that's always cool. That's like HeroScape in general. You just draft your dudes and go at it have your robots and your orcs and your romans and your zombies and your knights and venox you know snakes all of them go around killing each other sure 20 game scenarios that's pretty cool the only problem i can see with this i'm going to assume that this comes in a rule book and uh <laughs> The easy part about having a rule book is that'll probably be put in a PDF online somewhere and I could probably 90% plus mimic everything that they're going to put in there with the HeroScape I currently own. So again, this isn't... The walls are going to be a little different. Like the walls might... I think, uh, what was it? Was it Craig that mentioned? The walls are going to have, yeah, like this, like... It might be like a lifting feature where they're like illusions that you can walk your melee units through. It's like, I could probably do that with the ruins, though. Like, with the Rise of the Valkyrie ruins. And, again, mimic that pretty closely. So, uh, yeah, this, again, this isn't, like, a massive selling point for me. I guess for me personally. Alright, before I before I start talking about more, more of my preferences. Every component of this incredible game, backwards compatible, forward compatible. That's good, yep. And then, of course, the ending time. Okay. Stretch goals. Let's see this. So what, what are their milestones? Do they do they mention what the milestones? Okay, 10k backers. Okay, here we go. This is... Oh no, they added Q11. Oh no. Is this guy's busted his Q9 and Q10? Okay. Drake at 10k. Drake source to the air thanks to Zetacron. Oh, Zetacron gave him a backpack. I mean, Zetacron's probably still alive, huh? Salmon's now riding his dragon. That's pretty cool. I think uh, someone told me in my previous video... That uh, yeah, I, I this they were talking like this unit, Zonlin was like the queen of all the bugs, and it, it, they made it look like it to me anyway. But it, yeah, this was Zonlin, and that makes a lot of sense now that I know it's Zonlin. It's like that's his baby dragon that was on his shoulder. Really cool. Q11, I just can't. I can't even with this thing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Q11. <laughs> He's got another yeah, another Q killing machine to Valhalla to <laughs> to destroy the HeroScape meta. <laughs> Comes from an impeccable line of death machines. Oh yeah, it does. 
He, he looks pretty disgusting, like in a really cool and badass way though. Shiori transformed into three people now. Literally became a they them. Imagine that. Ninjutsu Mastery Special allows her to attack multiple times. Couldn't she already do that with her Swarm of the Morrow? Hopefully this one is just like 100 points and like she actually has decent stats instead of being whatever crappy she was, like 2 power, or I'm getting my AOTP in here, 2 attack and 3 defense and I think like 3 life or something. She was just terrible. And Raylin, yeah, I see these numbers are high. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, alright, Raylin, most known as Merciful, the, the Valorous, or the Kind-Hearted. She's vanished to be <laughs> cruel and merciless disciple. Riding on a winged war lion clad in steel. Raylan brings despair. Yeah, so I wonder if she like gives a minus two defense to everybody now. Like all figures within two spaces lose lose two defense. Any more backer goals? I feel like those goals are really lofty as they are. Right, I've seen most of this stuff. Yeah, okay, so and this kind of sums up, I think, what I'm most interested in. is like, just what do we get in the box? Um, so anyone managers, 50 army cards, 78 hextile terrain pieces. Yeah, yeah. Larwal? Lar? Huh. Anyway, castle pieces, effectively. It's literally Takala Jungle. And again, for some people, that might be awesome, because how much does Takala Jungle go for on eBay? I, I'm half tempted to look it up. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's probably like 70 or 80 bucks, maybe even more. So, again, for people who don't have jungle, it's like you can effectively subtract 80 ish dollars off of that $250 price point. Because, it's like, if you want the jungle anyway, you would probably have to go suffer on eBay to find it. But again, for me, I don't care. You know, I don't care too much for that. Hey, they have tiny wound markers. Is that going to be, uh... I wonder if they're going the way of, um... What am I thinking of? The the unique squads from AOTP. Where, like, you'd have the, the really small cubes. They, looked, they were smaller than a P. But you could put them on the base of your squads to track when they get damaged. This almost looks like 26 big wound markers. Like the dime-sized ones for, like, the hero cards. And then the tiny wound markers to put on the bases of the squads. Which is good. Hero, I feel like Hero Escape could use uh, multi-life squads and uh, a little less mass uh, mass common spam. So this this I'm guess I, I'm, that's only guessed by me. We get 16 order markers, so I'm guessing that they're expecting it four players if they keep one two three X in an updated rulebook. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I can't see myself backing this right now. I would. Uh, I'm gonna talk to my wife though. I want to see, try and save a little money over the next thirty something days and see where I am because I have a lot, a lot of hero escape and I'm pr I'd primarily want this for these two right up here. The cards, the, the cards and the miniatures. I don't. Almost all of the rest of this stuff I could live without. I could probably live without almost all of this, which is really sad. And th this is also why it's like 250 for 71 miniatures and. 50 army cards is really steep for me. Anyone who wanted to back this, like, sincerely, like, you know, a lot of the big, you know, or big, but, like, people who are really into Heroescape have probably already put the money in for this. Or have the money ready, or they already clicked, yes, I'm backing, you know. I'm, I, fingers crossed that there's gonna be more people like me who are like, okay, 250's really high, let's see how the next 30 days go, and then I'll consider backing, and I'll have to check this at some point in the future, but, um, Alright, alright, we'll call it... Wait, are these the tiny wound markers? Are those the tiny wound markers? The little red rectangles? That has to be. Very interesting. I didn't notice those before. Probably the the small wound markers. That's very different from what AOTP had. Huh. Let me know your thoughts. Let me guys, let, let me know if you guys backed uh, Hero Escape already. I, I, I would definitely like to, but not going to be high priority considering what's in this package and what I already have. Anyway, we'll catch you guys around in the next video.